So somebody who can adapt uh, their approach and style to a particular situation that's put in front of them. Um, but also somebody who is willing to uh, learn particularly all the time. So I never stop learning. Um, and I expect, the one thing I expect, I suppose, of the people that work with me and for me is that they are willing to do the same. Adaptability. Um, so the, uh, I mean, literally the ability to adapt what I do to the particular situations that are put in front of me. And I suppose um, from a practical standpoint, um, I couldn't do without um, the abilities to communicate, uh, particularly at a, a senior level. So across all Joint Honours students, you couldn't really say what they all share in common. They all have a broad curriculum. And certainly the research we've done with small uh, employers of small and medium enterprises is that's extremely attractive in the sense that they need graduates who can flex and adapt and who aren't phased by going between very different activities and job roles. And, and in terms of their characteristics, Joint Honours students really do survive and thrive in very different academic cultures um, and so they develop those skills of being adaptable and flexible which is so so attractive to employers. I think um, resilience and organisation skills um, because there's a lot of onus on you and picking modules and all those kinds of things. Um, I think research skills are incredibly important as well. Um, being able to research effectively is something that I actually teach to A-level students now. Um, and I think that those are the life skills that you take away that are important for getting a job in the future. Organisation is key, especially when you've got six lecturers, you need to, uh, you've got ten deadlines um, and prioritising. So some lecturers who give you really short deadlines, some lecturers give you quite long deadlines and it's been able to manage your time and your resources and making sure you're not in the learning resource centre till midnight. Decision making, negotiation, time management. So irrespective of what you study at university, whether you go on to use that content directly in your job initially, within five years, whatever we learn at universities is out of date and the world has moved on and where things are done geographically changes and how it's done. But what stands the test of time are the, the soft skills that you learn, so the communication skills, um, time management and organisation. And those are the skills that Joint Honours students really do develop in abundance because of, by virtue of the fact of, of studying two subjects and going between those academic cultures. It's because you've got to be able to manage what modules you pick, you've got to be able to make sure it's balanced, you've got to prioritise what's going to help you with your career. And I think there's a lot of choice goes in before you even walk into the classroom. And then by the time you're in there, you've, you then know 300 students instead of 150, say, that are on your course. Um, and you have to network with people, you've got to manage your friendship groups, two different sets of groups of friends and all those sorts of things, I think, outside of the academics altogether.